members of the media. Um, Councillor Kelly, with the new revelations that were released yesterday through the court documents, can Mayor Ford continue to lead this council? I think as time passes and as more information comes forward, it makes it harder for him to uh, fulfill the primary functions of the mayor, and that is to assemble enough folks on council to drive uh, his agenda. Uh, and so, uh, again, I and members of the council, and apparently the public in two polls published over the last two weeks, are asking him to take um, some time off, rehabilitate himself, so he can come back and occupy the office in the way we all expect. Does he still have the moral authority to lead Toronto? I think it's eroding. Uh, and it's eroding to the point where if he doesn't make a decision soon, it will uh, disappear. But both sides are dug in here. What do we do? Well, uh, when uh, a situation like that happens, uh, and I hope it doesn't, then I think that um, as a result of the motions, or the motion that will be uh, presented to council tomorrow, uh, council will carry on with a marginalized mayor. How would you describe the tone on council yesterday? We saw some shouting matches. How would you describe that? That's not normal, is well, it? Well, you know, I had, I had uh, two reactions. The first, uh, based on my own experience in four political contexts, uh, was that I was wide-eyed. Uh, it was bizarre. It's the most bizarre example of, of uh, politics and uh, procedure that I've ever seen in my life. The other part of me, as someone who's uh, researched and taught history, was fascination. This is what it must have been like in the Athenian assembly 2,500 years ago when democracy first emerged. When we spoke David, last David week, you seemed very point? optimistic that the mayor was, you seemed very optimistic yeah. that the mayor was close to listening to the advice and taking the lead. I, we seem to have done a 180. Uh, I, I had that, I had that feeling, but it was only a feeling. It was just looking at him, listening to the tone of his voice, uh, and um, trying to read him physically. But we don't he seem had, to be anywhere near that now. Um, Whatever happened, and you probably know as much as I do, um, he fell back to his previous position. You oh, talked about your... Follow, follow up to this question first. Do you feel the mayor maybe has played you? No, I think he's in an unprecedented position as we all are. Uh, and uh, I suspect that a person in that position, uh, one minute is over on one side, and the next minute he's on the other, and, uh, looking for all the options that might be out there. So, okay. and, and what would be the point of having a mayor if he's marginalized and council does everything to go around it? What's the point of having a mayor then? Well, that's a question you'll have to ask. So, Deputy Mayor, you talked about your reaction to what happened in council. What was your reaction when you heard about these new allegations from the court documents? Well, just an enhanced sadness that. Uh, that political life in Canada's biggest, most important city had been reduced to that squalid um, context. What do you think of the mayor's press? Have you spoken with the mayor privately since what happened yesterday? Have you spoken with him at all? No, I haven't. Um, I thought it would be wise to give him space. He's, man, if he's not thinking deeply and seriously about this and uh, talking to people who are closer to him than I am, um, then perhaps he may well. Do what do you mean, the mayor's press to Isn't it a bit dangerous to limit the mayor's um, role? I mean, would that call for all mayors or just this mayor? I'm sorry? Is, isn't it a little bit dangerous to start like, limiting a mayor's role, like ad hoc? It would well, re remember, remember, council is is simply taking back mayor Ford, on the check of the Mayor Ford? Mayor Ford, are you going to speak to the members of the media today? Yeah, you know what? Um, Hold on, uh, hold on. If you could just give us a comment. I couldn't comment yesterday because I didn't read um, the documents that was released. Un unfortunately, um, it, it's unfortunate I have to take the legal action. Um, I don't appreciate people calling Atlanta a prostitute. I've never had a prostitute here. I'm very happily married at home. Um, that, this is very disturbing against uh, my wife. Um, unfortunately, I have to take legal action against Isaac Ransom and George Christopoulos and um, Mark Tuohy. I have to uh, take legal action against the waiter that said I was doing lines at the beer market. That is outright lies. That is not true. Um, you know what? But it hurts my wife when uh, 
and they're calling a friend of mine a prostitute. Alana is not a prostitute, she's a friend, and it makes me sick how people are, are saying this. So unfortunately, um, I have no other choice. I'm the last one to take legal action. I can't, I can't put up with it anymore. So I've named the names. Um, litigation will be starting shortly. I've had enough. That's why I warned you guys yesterday, be careful what you wrote. Okay, so that's all I have to say for now. And the next thing I want to call uh, Mayor Britannia in Hamilton and tell them that uh, we're going to have to spank their little uh, tiger cats. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank what you about, very much. What about drinking and driving? What about drinking and driving? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.